Hey everybody, today I'm going to give you 10 tips for buying a home in 2023. But before we get started, if you would take a moment to hit that like button and click the subscribe bell, I'd really appreciate it. It helps the channel a lot. Now let's get into it. Tip number one is to get your team together. You're going to want to pick a lender and a realtor that work closely together to help make the transaction as smooth as possible for you, the person that matters. Tip number two is to decide on a budget. You'll want to work with your lender to decide what mortgage options are right for you, whether 15 year or 30 year or a conventional USDA or FHA loan. They'll be able to help you through that process. You're also going to need to decide if you'll be able to take advantage of any down payment assistance programs. Tip number three is not to do anything major with your credit. You may have heard it before, but it's super important that you don't make any major changes in your financial life when you're in the process of buying a home. Tip number four is to work with your realtor and try and figure out the seller's motivation for selling their home. If they're in a hurry, they may be willing to negotiate more than if they aren't. Tip number five is to consider days on market or how long the home has been listed for sale. Homes that have been on the market for a long time may be in a worse condition than other homes in the area, or they may be priced too highly. If a home has been on the market for a long time, you may be able to negotiate the price down or ask the seller for seller's concessions to make repairs. Tip number six is to be prepared to make an offer if you like a property. Work with your realtor to make sure that you have everything in order so that you can make an offer as soon as you find that property that you love. The last thing that you want to do is find the perfect house and then not be ready to make an offer. Tip number seven is to consider what you want at closing. Do you want the sellers to make physical repairs or give seller concessions to cover the cost of repairs that may be needed? Do you want them to cover some of your closing costs? You should ask for all of these things up front in your offer so you have a better chance of negotiating for them before the contract is signed. Tip number eight is to only send a pre-qualification letter for exactly what your offer amount is. You'll need to work with your lender to get multiple pre-qualification letters or a specific letter for each property that you're putting an offer on. You don't want to tip your hand and let the seller know that you're pre-approved for more than you're offering on that particular house. Tip number nine is to be willing to walk away. If the purchase price is just too high or negotiations aren't going well, you need to be ready to walk away and find another house. You don't want to regret forcing yourself into this particular house later on. Remember, you're going to want to stay here for at least five to seven years to minimize market fluctuations and build some equity in your home. Tip number 10 is to work with a realtor who understands the local market. It's important that your realtor understands the nuances of all the different parts of the city you're looking for a home in. Since you stayed this long, I've got a bonus tip for you. Talk with your lender about when is the best time to lock your rate. Most people don't realize that even after they're pre-approved, the rate on their mortgage can fluctuate until it gets locked in, usually right around closing time. But if you talk with your lender, you can lock that rate earlier in many cases. And with today's fluctuating rates, you may want to lock it earlier or wait until you get closer to the closing table. Your lender will be able to help you out with this. Well, that's today's 10 tips plus a bonus for buying a house in 2023. If you found this information helpful, please like the video down below and comment which one you found most interesting. If I can help you in any way with your real estate needs, please don't hesitate to contact me. I'm always available to help you. Thanks and have a great day.